I will skip a profile on Vihiga County for a reason, but we all know that this particular uh, race has attracted a number of candidates, beginning with Moses Akaranga, who is the incumbent. We've got Yusuf Kifuma Chanzu, who is um, running on an ANC ticket. We've got Wilberforce Otichilo, and he is the current member of parliament, Emuhaya constituency, but he wants now to vie for the gubernatorial position in Vihiga County. We've got Kennedy Butiko Enosi, who's vying on an UDP ticket. We've got Josfat Amadi and, of course, Helen Otolo Anyiso. We did extend an invitation to all of them, but only one had the courage to show up. Honorable Wilberforce Otichilo is with me in studio. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you for the invitation. You are welcome. Karibu sana. Asante sana. A, a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, my name is Honorable Dr. Wilbur Otichilo. I'm currently the member of parliament for Emuhaya. I've been a member of parliament for the last nine and a half years. And um, I would want to say that uh, I feel now I'm ready to take up the leadership of the county as the governor. Right. And I would like to say that um, prior to joining parliament, I've worked in many places. Uh, I worked with the civil service uh, for 10 years. I rose from an officer to a deputy director in charge of planning, environmental man management. Actually, I was instrumental in the enactment of environmental policy in the country. After working for the government for over 10 years, I was recru recruited to work with the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization uh, under IGAD program, and uh, I was based in Nairobi here, but I worked for IGAD, uh, which is based in Djibouti, and I was in charge of food security and early warning right. for the greater horn of Africa. Mm -hmm. After working for FAO for about four years, I was recruited by the World Bank to work uh, uh, at Kenya Wildlife Service as the chief scientist under uh, Dr. Richard Leakey, who later on uh, left and I worked under Dr. David Weston, and I was instrumental in the restructuring of Kenya Wildlife Service and setting up management plans for national parks right. and, and reserves. Mm -hmm. After a while, I left uh, the job uh, with KWS, uh, went for further studies, and later on I was um, recruited by United Nations Economic Commissioner for Africa as a Director General in charge of the a school, which is based here in Nairobi, it's called Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development. It's a school that trains people in Africa and in the entire world in the use of remote sensing, use of satellites in collecting Earth-based data, which is crucial for, bl for, for planning and disaster management. Mm -hmm. I left the job in uh, 2007, uh, 2008, when I vied for the position of the member of parliament, when Honorable Kenneth Marende was uh, elected as the Speaker of the National Assembly. Right. I took over the, the job, and uh, I'm very happy. Give me three key facts about Vihiga County. Three key facts about Vihiga County. One, Vihiga is one of the smallest counties among the 47. Two, Vihiga is one of the most densely populated county in the country. The population density is 1,500 people per square kilometer. Three, Vihiga has the greatest resource of Vihiga is human capital. Human capital. Human capital. Thank you so much, sir. Let's move on. What vacuum do you want to fill and why now for Wilberforce or Ticillo? The vacuum I want to fill in Vihiga is the vacuum of leadership. I feel very strongly that Vihiga County lacks leadership that has, has a purpose. It's, it's greatly missing the leadership and as a result, since we implemented devolution 
in 2013, I feel very strongly that we have not put into place governance structures that are a requisite for a proper functioning devolved government system. Right. And because of that reason, we find that the government, the current government, it cannot function ef effectively and efficiently. And because of that, because of lack of good governance system, corruption is rampant. And because of that, you find that development has lagged behind, despite uh, Vihiga has received to date over 16 billion from the exchequer. We cannot tangibly see this, uh, this money translated into development and the betterment of people on the ground. On the ground. Pover poverty is still very rampant. Right. Mishimiwa, uh, you have been a lawmaker. Yes. So I will, I, not, I will not shy away to please. ask you what pieces of legislation will enable you to work efficiently as a governor, as enshrined in the Constitution? I will tell you, and I want to tell you that I'm very proud that I participated in the discussion that culminated in the enaction of our, our, our National Constitution of 2010. So I can tell you for, for, for sure that I am very, very happy with that constitution. So con the constitution is the mother of all the legislations. So I want to tell you, as, as, as a governor, constitution is my Bible. After constitution, there is the, the County Government Act of 2012. That is the act that specifies out how the county governments should function. And it spells out the structures, the functions, and the operations of the county. So that is a very, very important uh, 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 law that is very important. The other important uh, law is the Public Finance Management Act. This is the act that specifies how the public funds should be managed and how they should be dispensed for the welfare of the people of each of the country and each of the, uh, uh, the 47 counties. So the Public Finance and Management Act is, is, is our um, omnibus uh, act, meaning that it is for all of us, for the, the national government and the county governments. Mm. So those, and then the last one, which is very important again, yes. is the, 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 the Procurement and Asset Disposal Act. Good. Because <laughs> let me tell you, procurement is where where the, 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 all this corruption has occurred. And because most people have not implemented the Procurement and Asset Disposal Act, all the problems we talk about, corruption in the civil service, that is, it is in this law that is not being implemented. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that you haven't left out the Procurement and Asset Disposal Act. Yeah. And owing to that, now let's move on to the issues on the ground. And I'd like to begin with agriculture. Please. You and I do agree that subsistence farming is quite huge in the county. Yes. However, it's largely neglected. Residents complain that extension services, for example, something yeah. they used to enjoy in yes. the past, collapsed. How do you intend to, or what will you do to revive this? Let me just uh, give you the, the uh, little bit history about agriculture right. in Vega County. Vega County is largely a subsistence, a practice of subsistence Farming, agriculture. Yes. And um, because of the high density of population, the average parcel size or land size per person is just about 0 0.4 hectares. So you can see it's small pieces of land. And I can tell you the subdivisions continue going on. So subsistence has been the mainstay of economy for the people of Vihiga for many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, one good thing about Vihiga, the climate is just marvelous. The climate is good. That's one area where it rains almost 300 days in a whole 
year of 365 days. Yes. So rainfall is not a major constraint. The soils are very fertile because they are volcanic, hilly soils with a lot of undulating hills. So it's one of the most scenic places in that's terms of landscape. That's true. I'll just, now, I'll just interject a bit yeah. and we will come back to you because I'm told we are ready with uh, our radio. Oh, Bonnie Musambi is ready at uh, the Radio Taifa Studios. Bonnie Musambi, if you can hear me, how exactly do we get to participate or do our audience get to participate in this conversation? Over to you, Bonnie. Asante ni mekusikia uh, mwanzangu Samuel Njoroge bila shaka anaitwa Boni Musambi na kuja moja kumoja kutoka studio ya KBC Radio Taifa na siko peke yangu ni na mchanganuzi wa masuala haya kutoka katika kaunti ya Vihiga ambaye pia ni mmoja wa wale ambao wako katika bunge la mwananchi jina lake Vincent Kidaha nitakuwa nasema naye karibu sana bwana Vincent Asante sana bwana Boni nitakuwa nasema nawe kwa muda mfupi ujao lakini pia ukitaka kushiriki katika mjadala huu unaweza kuwasiliana nami kwa njia ya simu nambari yangu ni 0700176699 na pia kuna 0732745111 alafu kuna 0776399 tisa pia katika sms mbili mbili moja sita mbili anza na neno e, taifa na pia katika twitter at kbc channel 1 at kbc radio taifa na at boni musambi bila shaka nitakuwa naangalia maoni yako kuhusiana na siasa za vihiga county pia baadaye baadaye nitakuwa najaribu kumtafuta mwaniaji mwingine wa kiti cha ugavana katika county ya vihiga mheshimiwa yusuf chanzo naye atueleze kwa nini anaona kwamba anatosha lakini kwanza bwana vincent yes bwana amesema bwana Bwana Wilba Otichulo pande ule mwingine kwamba kuna tatizo la uongozi katika kaunti ya Vihiga. Je, unakubaliana naye? Ndio, nakubaliana naye kwa asilimia tisini. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu hajatueleze haswa ni vipi atahusisha watu katika kaunti ya Vihiga. Nimefurahia sana ameweza kunakili katika kifungo cha katiba cha County Government Act ya 2012. Lakini amesema kwamba kuna tatizo tayari kuna utatizo. la uongozi. Ni tatizo gani? Tatizo la uongozi ambao liko Vihiga ni kwamba kiongozi aliyopo aliweza kuneglect ku, ku wale wakazi wa Vihiga kwa mambo mengi ambayo amekuwa akifanya. Mm -hmm. Miradi mingi na vile ame, amenakili kwa umfasaha ya kwamba maneno ya ufisadi na hayo mengine hakuna uhusishaji wa wakaji wa vihiga kwa miradi mingi mm -hmm. na yale wakaji walikuwa wanapendekeza kuweza kufanywa haijafanywa kitu kimoja tu ambacho wananchi wa vihiga ama wakazi wa vihiga wanaomba kama kingefanyika vihiga ni kitu gani haswa zaidi vihiga ni sehemu vile mwaniaji amesema ya kwamba kuna mahali kuna chimbo wa dhahabu tulikuwa tunafikiri ya kwamba kiongozi aliyopo ataweza ku, ku, kuelewana serikali kuu ili tuweze kukuwa na mpango mwafaka ya vile wakaji wa Vihiga wanaweza kufaidika na huo mradi kwa sababu hiyo sehemu wakaji wengi wameweza kukufa katika hiyo bonde kwa sababu mporomoko wa ardhi wengi wao wanaenda pale kwa machimbo bila vifaa maalum cha pili Vihiga ni sehemu ambayo vile bwana Otichilo amesema kuna kuzwa majani chai kuna kiwanda kimoja cha majani chai vile hivi tunavyozungumza kiwanda hicho kiko karibu kufungwa kwa sababu mm -hmm. yale majani chai wakulima wengi hawana mutisha ya kuendelea kupanda hayo majani kwa sababu hawalipwi ile nguvu zao ama bidi yao ya kupanda majani chai haileti faida mm -hmm. so tuke, tukipata yule umu, kiom, kiongozi ambaye anaweza fanya ya kwamba ile aji, wale wakazi ambao wako huko waweze kupata manufaa ya hicho kiwanda. Mm -hmm. Cha pili kumekosa na uongozi kwa sababu tunataka yule mtu ambaye anaweza create sio ajiri, ku create employment. Vile mwaniaji amesema ya kwamba Vihiga ni mahali ambapo kuna densely populated. Na sasa vile kunaelekea Vihiga County inaelekea kuwa slum. Mm -hmm. Tunataka yule kiongozi ambaye atakuwa mwenye maono ya kwamba atenge sehemu ya kwamba hii ni sehemu ya makazi na sehemu hii ni ya upandaji. Mm. So generally kumekosekana uongozi. Na, na nimeshukuru mwaniaji ame, ame hasa ameguzia mwongozo wa katiba. 
wakazi wa Vihiga wanasema ya kwamba wote hao wanataka uhusi kuhusishwa katika miradi. Wacha tusikie uh, maoni ya wawili watatu kwa njia ya simu kwanza kabla turudi kwa Samuel Njoroge. Je, unatoka Vihiga au unaelewa siasa za Vihiga hata kama utoki kule? Nakaribisha maoni yako kupitia nambari yangu ya simu 0700176699. Hello, habari yako? Ah, ah tafadhali ukipiga simu punguza sauti ya runinga au redio ndio tuweze kuelewana. Habari eh, habari yako? Uh, yes, nasema na nani kutoka wapi? Asante sana kwa maoni yako hayo. Hello habari gani? Yes, paza sauti ndugu yangu. Hey, kutoka wapi Viki? ndio aha ndipenda kuchangia hiyo sasa viga yes ya karanga mimi naona kama waga wote eh uh, akaranga waga wote hao kwa nini unaona karanga atawabwaga wote ah <laughs> mimi jivone iko sawa sana ile eh unampendea nini unatoka vihiga we ah mimi ni obusiwa na ningependa eh ungeleta hata ujamonga afu na wakoma Eh, wakati wakati wao utafika bila shaka kwa sababu frontline siku ya Jumanne tunaangazia uh, wawaniaji ugava na katika county mbalimbali. Mbali. Asante kwa maoni yako. Habari gani? Hello. Yes, nasema na nani? Eh, naongea na Shire. Kutoka wapi Shire? Eh, yeah, kutoka kaunti ya Tokana. Ehe. Uh, eh. Yeah. Maoni yako ni yapi? Maoni yangu? Mm. Amepotea kidogo. Habari aha, uh -huh. ready taifa? Halo habari gani? Nzuri. Nasema na nani kutoka wapi? Ndoka na Lijuri kwa kutoka nani ile? Ehe. Eh wakaji ya Vihiga. Ndio. Wanasema kuna dawa kwa mbale. Eh. Hakuna madawa kwa hospitali hata moja linanuka. Eh. Ada kiti ya mboka mpande wa China angalii kazi kwa hiyo nataka kuchaguliwa mtu ambaye anaweza kazi. Kwa, kwa, kwa hivyo Vihiga kuna dawa hospitalini ndugu yangu? Viga kusema kweli hakuna madawa hospitalini mm. anzo wameweza kuwazirika pakubwa sana na huu mgomo wa madaktari mm. Dodi Posa tumesema hiyo hali, hali hiyo yote imekosa imeletwa na uongozi mbaya mm -hmm. na tunashukuru kabisa wakati huu wa, wa, wa siasa tungependa kuwa na kiongozi yule tutataka kuwa na sera zake na tuelezee maono yake kuhusu afya atuelezee maono yake kuhusu vijana youth empowerment mm -hmm. atuelezee maono yake kuhusu women empowerment na atuelezee hatua mchakato wote kuhusu mabarabara mabarabara ni mabovu viga county na ni, ni sehemu ndogo kabisa nitakuwa narudi kwako baada ya kidogo lakini kama ulivyosikia Uh, sami ni kwamba matatizo ya kaunti ya Vihiga ni matatizo tumbi nzima. Nikipenda nikuulize swali mheshimiwa Otichilo, wewe ulikuwa katika kamati ya bunge kuhusu masuala ya maji na kilimo. Wakati ulikuwa katika kiti hicho, uliwafanyia nini watu wa Vihiga kutumia mamlaka hayo? Kama tunaweza kwanza hapo mheshimiwa Otichilo. Asante sana Boni Musambi kwa kuuliza swali hilo. Uh, na naweza kujibu, uh, kujibu hivi. Kwanza nilikuwa bungeni na tulikuwa na muradi ambao ulikuwa unafadhiliwa na e, inji ya, ya Belgium. Na mimi nilihusika sana kuona kwamba huo muradi wa maji wa Vihiga unapitishwa na nilifanya bidii kwa kuhakikisha kwamba budget ya huo muradi inapitishwa. Tulipitisha 2015 uh, 2016 pesa ilienda lakini kaunti kwa vile hawakuwa wamejipanga vizuri na wameweka policy ya kuimplement hiyo mradi hao kuimplement hiyo project na hiyo project ni, ni ya, 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 ya pesa ya 1.3 billion pia mwaka huu wa wa wa, wa, wa fedha 2016 2017 nilifanya bidii kuona kwamba hiyo mradi umerudisha na kama mnakumbuka vizuri wakati uh, uh, his excellency rice uh, president alienda vihiga aliguzia hiyo mradi na akasema kwamba huo mradi utaendelea. Sasa hiyo ni uh, mradi mkubwa lakini kwangu, kwangu uh, sasa ni sema area yangu ya Emhaya nimewahi kupata pesa kutoka kwa CDF na kwa Ministry of Water kuchimba visima mbali mbali ambao ninatumiwa sasa na wananchi wa, wa, wa Emhaya. There was a question raised on health. 
Yes. All right, and let's look at the, the situation in uh, Mbale Hospital. Yes. County Referral Hospital. Uh, the media once reported of an instance where a patient committed suicide due yes. to frustration yes. owing to lack of services. Correct. What will you do to improve access to medical facilities and ma medical services in Vihiga County? Medical, medical services are crucial. Without health, uh, once people are health and people are, are strong, then they can work. One of the things I will do is, first of all, to revamp the Vihiga Referral Hospital. It is in a pathetic, pathetic situation. The facilities are lacking, and even the, 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 the machines, the equipment is lacking. And uh, overall, even water, as we talk now, there's, there's no water. And even the electricity is erratic. And you know, very, the national grid, sometimes power will go off. They don't have a standby generator. And if it's there, most of the times, they don't have a diesel. So uh, what I would do is to ensure to revamp the referral hospital plus other rural uh, health centers and dispensaries. But the most important thing is to put proper management. Proper management. We must recruit proper doctors, doctors who, will, who have management skills to manage hospitals hmm. and ensure that we put enough budget for procurement of drugs. Right. Because if you go in all health facilities in the Vega County, there are no drugs. People go there, they are given uh, prescriptions, and they are asked to go to the chemist. We've got to gotta move on to the next issue. Let's look at town congestion. Yes. Particularly Luanda town. Yes. Along uh, the Kisumu Maseno Busia Road. Yes. A town that is credited for making a lot of money for Vihiga County. Sure. Yet too congested. Disorganized parking. Correct. Ample lighting not available. Correct. Uh, there has been a market being constructed for the last four and a half years. Famous Omena market. The Omena market. Yes. It's not working efficiently for the residents of Vihiga County. What's your plan in as far as this is concerned? My plan is as follows. I must do fiscal plans for all the towns in Vega County. You know, without a fisc fiscal urban plan, you cannot be able to develop. Even if you are to look for funding from development, um, uh, development partners, you must have a fiscal plan. So for Luanda is one of the biggest and the, mo uh, the, the biggest mar uh, uh, markets in, in Viga and even in, in Kenya is the second to Kat Karatina. So what I will do is to do a physical plan of the town and ensure that we, 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 we position various commercial uh, and trade activities in f particular places so that you have a plan. Luanda has no plan. No town in Viga has any plan. So that's what I will do, fiscal planning. Fiscal and I'm, planning. And, and I'm, I'm a fiscal planner. Right. So I, I can assure you I'll do that. You will do that. Yeah. Uh, still on business. You know, Vihiga too is a bit cosmopolitan. We've Correct. got a little bit of Kikuyus, Kalenjins, even Indians. Indians, even Luos. There. Even Luos. Kalenjins. It's cosmopolitan in yeah. nature. Yes. But you see, does it bother you that in that county, we've got Indian traders who come to trade in Vihiga? And yet they cross over and go to live in, in Kisumu. Kisumu. Does that bother you in any way? I can tell you, Sam, it bothers me a lot. It bothers me a lot because why would they operate in my county and go to sleep an, in another county? Hmm. Basically meaning that they make money from our county and we'll go and invest it, in spend it in Kisumu. So, and it's simply because no, a good enabling environment has not been provided for them. Also, there has never been an effort to bring all these, all these communities from various, uh, various uh, parts of the country together to work as a team. So one of my, my key um, uh, goals is once I'm elected as the governor of Vihiga, I am going to set up a meeting of cohesion and integration of all the people, all the communities in Vega County, so that we agree to work together, we agree to invest in the county, so that even the Indians who stay in Kisumu, we should be able to enable them 
or interest them to, uh, to stay in Vega County and invest in Vega County. Because you realize that most of the buildings they operate from, they are not their own buildings. They have just rented. Their own elegant buildings and supermarkets, they build them in Kisumu. We don't have any supermarket in even, even in Bale Town. Mm -hmm. What we have are just small, small, small mini, mini supermarkets. So I would ensure that we bring all these communities together right. and create an enabling environment for them to operate. There are quite a number of public uh, lands that are available which have never been surveyed. I intend to survey all those public lands and where possible in invite investors to come and invest by as a county, giving them the land as part of the incentive. Now that you've mentioned uh, cohesion. Yes. And integration. Correct. Let's look at the role local politics has played. And uh, local politics indicate that it is largely about the Wanyore, the Tiriki, Tiriki and Maragoli. the Maragoli. Yes. And a lot of decisions are made along those sub-tribes or clans. Yes, I agree. Right. What, what's your plan, Otichilo, to make sure that these kind of divisions are reconciled once and for all? Thank you, Sam, for asking that question. And that is my agenda number one. My agenda number one is that once I'm elected as the governor, I want within 40 days, 45 days, to hold a, a conference of all the communities in Vega County so that we can start chatting a way forward on how to have cohesion and integration of all the communities. And we want to have even, what I would say, a reconciliation process. Mm -hmm. Because there's been a lot of unfairness. We have some uh, uh, groups of people who stay in Viga County who are marginalized. Like, for example, the Luos at Kot Kabindi and all the other places, Man, uh, uh, Masana. They are part of Viga, but they are never seen to be big. So I would like to bring all these people together and we agree, and after that, I want to form um, a social and economic council, which will bring all these parties plus the minorities together, mm -hmm. so that we chart the destiny of Higa of, together. Of Higa County together. We're crossing over to, to Boni Musambi, and when we return, Mheshimiwa, wataka kupatia pesa kwa waze. Yes. Yet this is a function of national government. Yeah. How do you intend to embrace it at the county level? We will get to that in a short yeah, while. Yeah. Okay. Boni Musambi, however, I know you're standing by in our radio Taifa studios together with our guest uh, Vincent. What are the viewers and listeners are saying in regard to the topic we are handling this evening. Over to you, Boni. Asante kwa maoni yako. Uh, naona maoni ni mengi sana ususan katika Twitter. Uh, na ningependa niangalia kwa kifupi. Alafu ni mgeukie mwenzangu wapa Vincent Kidaha. Douglas Wanjala anasema, ameandika tu uh, mstari wa kidini kwamba when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. <laughs> uh, nitakuliza swali eh, kuna mwingine hapa anasema ya kwamba muulize mheshimiwa uchaguzi unaokuja kama akishindwa atakubali matokeo huyu ni Maina Jays uh, na Maina Jays kundwadi anaandika tweet hiyo kutoka Vihiga County kuna mwingine anasema twalia barabara ya maseno tukombiwa itajengwa lini ni Star Boys Abdul anauliza akiwa Vihiga County Mohamo Geni anasema askari kanjo inasumbua watu wa matatu sana otichi lo unawapangiaje vijana kuwasaidia katika sekta hiyo Kuna mwingine hapa ameandika kwamba na upande wa vijana mimi sioni kitu maalum ambacho kimefanywa katika Vihiga County vijana vijana vijana. Uh, Vihiga County iko na wakulima wengi. Otichi lo na mpango upi na wakulima? Kuna mwingine anasema ya kwamba mimi kitu ambacho ningependa kuona ni o, akaranga akikarangwa kwa sababu tumemweka katika kiti lakini haongei tena. Anajiita Philip uh, Philip Okumu asante kutoka Vihiga County. 
Kuna mambo mawili ningependa kugusia na wewe bwana Kennedy kwa kifupi. Sawa sawa. Jambo la kwanza ambalo limejitokeza sana ni vijana. Kwani vijana wa Vihiga County hamjasaidiwa? Vijana wa Vihiga County wameweza kutelekezwa zaidi. Actor nilikuwa nimefurahia sana wakati nilisikia kwamba mjadala huu umetoka katika sehemu ya Vihiga umekuja katika neutral ground ili tuweze kusikia liwaza ya hawa wagombeaji wa nyasfa za ugavana. Mm. Kwa sababu vijana wameweza kuwekwa ile kasumba ya dependency syndrome. Wana live on handouts. Tumekosa kiongozi ambaye ataweza kubuni si nafasi za kazi kuleta ile environment enabling environment ili vijana waweze kujiajiri na vijana wengi wa, wa Vihiga County ambao wangeweza hata kupenda kuendeleza na masomo yao basari ambazo zinapeanwa Vihiga zinapeanwa tena kwa, mpe, kwa mapendeleo ungependa kuona vijana wa Vihiga wakifanywa nini mimi ningependa kuona ile kitu naitwa industrial parks watu wengi wanasema wanaongea kuhusu industrial park i want youth of Vihiga County to be empowered economically not to be living on handouts hmm. tumekosa sasa ile same unaona sasa hizi tungesema kwamba mjadala huu mdawala huu wa Vihiga County ufanyike same kama mbale ungeona kwamba wale ambao wanagombea hizo nyansfa za uongozi wangekuja wamelipa vijana ili wakuje wapige kelele hawana hakuna yule kiongozi ambaye akona sera na Vihiga labda ilikuwa ni sehemu ya kwanza kukuwa na gatuzi ndio tukaweza kumjaribu bwana Karanga siwezi nilikuwa ningependelea kumsikia kwamba akuja hapa aweze kutoa score card yake kwa sababu hakuna kabisa ile tunaweza sema Akaranga ameweza kufanya kufanyia vijana kuna 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 kitu hapa kinajitokeza nikana kwamba baadhi ya viongozi ama viongozi wenu wengi ambao wanawania uh, wadhifa wa governor katika county ya Vihiga wengi ni wale ambao wanaonekana kumjua Mungu je hilo mnalichukuliaje kama wapiga kura Vihiga county ni sehemu naweza sema ni kwamba ni ile eneo ambayo kwamba wakaji wengi wa, shule mingi zimejenga kwa sababu ya dini na kwa hayo maadili labda ndio yameweza kukuza watu kwa, kim, kwa kimcha Mungu hakuna shule ambayo naweza sema imejengwa Vihiga County ambayo haihusishwi na kanisa lolote mm-hmm. labda halo, hayo malezi ndio yameweza kufanya watu wengi wakawa ni wenye kumcha Mungu wacha tusikie malilio ya watu wa Vihiga je unatazama kutoka Vihiga County unaweza kupiga simu 0700 sana hata kama utazami kutoka Vihiga County lakini unaelewa siasa za Vihiga County tunakaribisha maoni yako moja kwa moja nisikie simu mbili tatu kabla ya kwenda mapumzikoni habari gani Hello Yes habari yako Amdu sana kwa namtambi Nasema na nani kutoka wapi kaka Ah mimi niko upande mimi unasema na sagara nikiwa maeneo ya mwamba Eh Lakini sasa mimi ni mtu wa Vihiga pale Mdete Ndio Hello Ehe Kaka sasa kwa msambi mm. Mimi ningependa kupongeza kupongeza kwa na wiki kilo mheshimiwa wiki kilo Eh Kwa ile kazi nilifanya huko akiwa mbunge Mwaya Mm Sasa tukapenda ningependa akija akiwa gavana baada ya nini huku na Viga Mm Sasa na namuomba tu jamfa kura kwa sababu mimi kura yangu napigia pake ya Viga sisi Aya asante kwa maoni yako Halo habari gani Ah uh, nime eh, eh panza sauti alafu pige tena. Habari gani? Hello Radio Taifa. Ndio karibu sana naongea na nani? Unaongea na Kenneth Atonya. E, kutoka wapi Atonya? Atonya anatoka sehemu za Kibagara. Eh hiyo ni Vihiga? Hiyo ni Vihiga County. Eh eh Otichilo anasema kwamba atawafanyia kazi mkimchagua. Nataka niseme hivi. Hmm. Ila maneno ambayo tunahitaji hapa Vihiga County jambo la kwanza ni drainage. Mhm. Alavo jambo la pili ni sewage. Alavo jambo la tatu mm. Jambo la tatu ni maneno ya physical plan hata huwezi kujua stingi ya basi iko wapi imekuwa tu mchanganyiko ya magari. Sawa, Mungu akubariki. Asante kwa maoni yako nimekusikia. Habari gani ndugu? Ah, mzuri sana. Naongea na nani kutoka wapi kaka? No naongea na Livingston Olubua akiwa Tika. Mm. Lakini mimi mwenyewe ni mzaliwa wa Luanda Bunyore. Ndio. Ubyo mpenzi wangu na muomba au na muombea Mwenyezi Mungu amsaidie. Mm. Apite kura sababu akiwa mpunga yale ametufanyia. Mm. Tusema ukweli Mwenyezi Mungu hata atamfanya yeye ataruka juu. Ni, ni kitu gani alifanya ambacho uwezi kusahau? Kila ambacho amezofanya Mm. Kwa shule amejaribu kutuletea eh e, 
vitu vya maana sana kwa shule mm. kuinua elimu ya shule mm-hmm. vijana wale watoto ambao hawana masomo wamepewa mm. amejaribu kujengea wale ambao wajane manyumba amejaribu kufanya mambo mengi sana asante asante kwa maoni yako ama kwa hakika unaweza kuwasiliana nasi e, mtazamaji na msikilizaji kupitia Twitter handle yangu @bonimusambi na pia @kbc radio taifa na @kbc channel 1 tutakuwa tunarejea tena kwa Samuel Njoroge na mheshimiwa Wilbur Otichilo punde baada ya mapumziko mafupi unasikiliza radio taifa sauti ya mkenya na unatazama KBC channel 1 Welcome back to the gubernatorial debate. Today, the 11th day of July, this debate takes us to Vihiga County. My name is Samuel Njoroge. In case you're just joining us, this is the Frontline KBC. Use the same hashtag to get in touch with us on Twitter. Uh, before we went for the break, we had people call in and questions were asked. The issue of roads, youth inclusion, and accepting of the outcome of the election results. I'd like to begin there, uh, Honorable Otichilo. Are you prepared to accept the results even in the event you lose? That's number one. And number two, what's your take on SRC's uh, recommendation that uh, the newly elected people should take pay cuts? Will you take a pay cut? First of all, let me say that Yes, we are in a context, and if by bad luck I lose, I'll accept as long as I, everything will be done in a fair and a credible manner. I have no problem. When you are in a contest, you know that you can lose or, get, or, or, or win. Now, as regards the, the pay cut by Sarah Serem Commission, first of all, I want to congratulate them. They have done a good job. They have done the harmonization of, of salaries for elected leaders. And I think in the process, they have cut down the, the, the excessive expenditure. So I believe it's a good thing for this country. We want to free more money from wage bill to development. And since I'm aspiring to become a governor, I want to have more money for development. Yes, yes I support. Will you, you will take a pay cut? Yes, I'll take a pay cut. All right, let's look at the issue of roads. Very serious in yeah. Vihiga County. It's been raised by one yeah. of our viewers. Yes. And especially in areas like Hamisi, yeah. poor roads there. Uh, wh what's your plan in as far as this is concerned? I want to agree with you. The road infrastructure, particularly in Hamisi, mm. is pathetic. And one of my key um, uh, goal is to ensure that once I get into the office, we'll do an audit of all the roads in the county. I'm happy to say that for Emuhaya, I'm very happy my roads are in good shape. And even Luanda, the roads are in good shape. Yeah. But we shall take an audit of the roads. And those roads that are in bad shape, we shall give them priority so that we can make them all weather. Right. And we shall make sure that some of the roads that are so important, like from Majengo, uh, Kisambai to Shamahoho, it is important that road must be tarmacked. Yes, it is. And that will be my one of my big agenda. It is in pathetic situation, yes. that is the truth. But then the issue of youth inclusion came up. Youth have been segregated in Vihiga County. What plan do you have for this? I think that's a very important question. Youth constitute about 60% of the population in Vihiga. In Vihiga. Right. So they are key stakeholders. One of my agenda is to bring the youth together on the table and we discuss uh, uh, the way forward for their development. Mm -hmm. And one of the key areas I have targeted is on human capital. My intention is to ensure that all the youth polytechnics in Vega County and their 31, I want to revamp them, equip them, employ instructors, and ensure that 
uh, most of our youth go to these uh, technical uh, youth polytechnics to learn lifelong skills. And I intend to partner with many other countries like South Korea, uh, India, and even uh, Israel so that we can get instructors. Because I believe that if Vihiga can produce technicians, then we can export technicians to the rest of the counties and even the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the region and particularly in the Arab world yeah. because technicians are lacking everywhere. So one of my key goals is to ensure that I'm going to promote technical and vocational training. I'm going to put a lot of energy in that. Right. The other area I'm going to put a lot of energy is in agribusiness. We have small farms, but we have good weather. I want to now uh, encourage our youth to go in agriculture as, an, uh, as a business and not for subsistence. And we'll be able to bring in extension um, officers who will teach them how to go into things like poultry farming. I can tell you we can do very good dairy farming because rainfall is throughout the whole year. I want to go in and bring in high grade uh, cattle, uh, cattle whereby, uh, whereby we can get them uh, one animal each and we can be able to, they can be able to produce milk and even process milk products. And finally, I want to have um, uh, small uh, 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 processing plants. For example, we have lots of fruits, mm -hmm. avocados. We produce a lot of avocados and they are all exp brought all the way to Thika for processing. I want to have small micro industries to do that. Now that we've spoken about the youth, before we went crossed over to Bonnie, we touched on the issue of um, the old. And in your manifesto, which I went through, yeah. you have included Pesa Kwa Waze. But we know that this is a function yeah. of the national government. Correct. How do you intend to embrace it at the county level? Yes, I know, I know cash transfer is a national uh, program. Mm -hmm. But the problem with this program is that it reaches very few people. In fact, in every location, if you go to any of the locations in the county, you'll only find five or six beneficiaries. And we have so many of our people who are old and they are helpless, they need help. So I believe the law allows, if the county assembly plus my, gov by, plus my executive decide to enact a policy and a law which allows us to be able to provide some support to some of these old um, uh, senior citizens of our county. And that law is passed and the policy is passed and the director budget, we, we seek authority from the director budget to allow us to give that cash transfer. We can do it, it's doable. It's doable. Let's get to politics a bit. Yes. You're well known in Emuhaya and Luanda. Yes. However, the constituency in Vihiga County extends beyond that. Correct. We've got Sabatia, yeah. we've got Vihiga, Correct. we've got Hamisi. Correct. How do you intend to reach out to those? And that is a, largely where the issues are. Correct. Uh. Thank you. I think that's a very good question. I want to let you know that I made a decision to contest for the position of governor two and a half years ago. And for the last two years, I have been traversing Sabatia, Hamisi, Vihiga, to appreciate myself the problems that people experience on the ground. Mm -hmm. I have gone round, and I can tell you now, I have a formidable network of people. And I can tell you, if you were to go to carry out a, a questionnaire or an opinion poll today, you will discover that Otichilo is now a household name in Vihiga County. In Vihiga County. Yes. And now the ANC factor is also a reality. Yes. Because we do know yes. that one of the strongholds of uh, Musalia Mudavadi is Vihiga County. Uh, Sabatia. Sabatia in particular. Yeah. His party yeah. has a candidate. Correct. ANC has a candidate in Yusuf Chanzu. Correct. Does this sort of send chills down your spine? And if so, how will you maneuver this question? It does not send any chill down my spine. One thing that we are one family, we are in NASA. And I'm very proud that NASA was originated by uh, Mosalia Mudavadi. 
So we are all one family of, um, of NASA. I, I, I come from ODM, um, uh, Yusuf, Honorable Yusuf Chanzu is from ANC, and we are from the same family. So it's okay for us to, 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 to compete, and any of us who wins, the family would have won. Right. May the best man win. Yes. A woman for that matter. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you know what? We're just about to cross. <laughs> We're crossing over now yeah, yeah. to Bonnie Mosambi to yeah. sample more of uh, your feedback. Yeah. Uh, Twitter and also on yeah. phone. Mashmu, are you on Twitter? Yes. How many followers do you have on Twitter? Well, I have my, my uh, <laughs> person who follows that. I won't know. Okay. But I have, I have a young man who follows that. But they are quite... Quite a number. They're quite a number. Thank yeah. you so much. Boni Musambi, over to you. What are the viewers saying? Uh Shida Moja Nayo and Kumba Washimo Wengi work on uh social media managers. Na pengine wale social media managers wanapo kwenda katika Twitter na kuangalia watu wanasema nini katika Twitter hawawezi kuwasilisha feelings za mwananchi. Kwa hivyo nafikiri ni challenge kwa mwishimu otichilo kwamba ukisha ingia kama utachaguliwa ni vizuri we mwenyewe uweze ku handle your twitter handle sometimes unakaa chini unaangalia wananchi wanasema namna gani yule mtu ambaye unamtuma pale pengine atakwambia vitu ambavyo hautoweza kuvielewa kwa sababu yeye hana maslahi ya watu wa viiga katika moyo wake kama wewe mheshimiwa ni wazo tu la juju e, ningependa kidogo kabla nije kwako Vincent niangalie SMS na nitaomba mtazamaji ni wewe radhi kwa sababu nitapinduka upande huu SMS ziko upande huu mwingine niweza tukusoma kwa kifupi uh, honorable Otichilo is the best in Vihiga anaweza cause alikuwa MP number 1 Kenya nzima Saddam Otieno anasema hiyo ni SMS 22162 ukianza na neno Taifa. Mwingine anasema Vihiga County received 242 million um, eh amelezea nyingi sana ambazo zilipokelewa. What has uh, what has the governor got to show as per public funds act? Nafikiri alikuwa ameuliza swali kwa ajili ya mheshimiwa eh, Akaranga ambaye hakuweza kufika hata baada ya kumwalika ni Kings Mind our Ford people. Ask mheshimiwa how he is going to assist farmers on dairy farming because most of them have indigenous Ketol ni Amos anataka kujua mheshimiwa utasaidiaje uh, wakulima wale ufugaji ngombe wa maziwa Kuna mwingine hapa anasema kwamba uliza mheshimiwa Tichilo je ana mpango gani kwetu sisi vijana wa Vihiga County akipata hicho kiti cha ugavana ni Robert Hosea nikiwa maseno uh, kuna mwingine hapa anasema Otichilo ana maono mazuri kwa watu wa Vihiga huyo ndiye tuna imani kwake na rekodi yake ni safi kama kiongozi Sahiras anasema Vihiga ni kaunti ya wasomi lakini wengi wetu hutuachia njiani kwa ukosefu wa karo je ana mpango gani I think Otichilo is the best candidate to win up the game he has done more as an MP and we think he will do more as the governor ni mmoja hapa ambaye ameandika maoni yake hapo Dr Tichilo you have been in the forefront of promoting GMOs under the biotechnology at national level what is your plan for Vihiga in view of the high population density and small land sizes swali hilo hapo kuna mwingine hapa anasema ya kwamba how do you intend to deal with solid waste management within our county going by the growth of the middle class workforce mwingine anasema we commit to elect dr otichilo as our governor he is proactive and visionary leader ababu dn kutoka vihiga mauni ndio Hayo, unakubaliana na wale ambao wanasema kwamba rekodi ya Otichilo ni safi vihiga mimi nakubaliana na rekodi ya Otichilo kwa sababu yeye ndiye amejitokeza kukuja kwa mjadala huu hiyo inamaanisha kwamba yeye tayari ako na watu ambao ako na watu katika moyo wake labda swali ambayo ningependa kuongeza kwa hayo wameongeza ni swala la usalama ndio najua kwamba usalama ni swala la kitaifa yeye akiwa governor wa Vihiga labda anaweza shughulika na hii swala la bonoko ambao wana, wako sana sana area ya Bunyore na Luanda ikifika masaya jioni kazi yao ni kuweza kuwahangaisha vijana mm. na kuweza wanakani wana kama wanatoza ushuru ndio wana, wana vijana wengi wanasema ni kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa kazi lakini ukosefu wa kazi uweze uweza kufa, kufanya watu wakaweza kuingilia na utovu wa wa usalama. Mheshimiwa Otichilo atajibu swala hilo lakini pia msikilizaji na ukaribisha unipatie maoni yako au swali lako kuhusiana siasa za Vihiga County ili mheshimiwa Wilba Otichilo aweze kujibu 0700176 Nine. Habari yako? Ah, nzuri sana. Tony Mkandi. Yeye. Nashaka mnaongea na Jane Moraro wa Narumoro Nyeri County. Ehe. 
Lakini napongeza mheshimiwa na kila watu wako wamesema wafanyie vizuri na muondea mema. Haya, asante. Habari gani? Hello Radio Taifa. Ndio nakusikia. Ya, ni Pius Mlama. E, kutoka wapi Mlama? Mlama ni kwa Kakamega County. Mhm. Ah, sikana nataka kuuliza mheshimiwa swali. Yes. Ya mheshimiwa kuna vijana wenye wanafanya kazi kwa vijana. Mhm. Niko nataka kuuliza alitangaza hao vijana wanapata 1013 mbona sasa hivi vijana wanapata 1800 mm. ajakuwa aja, ajakuwa hata absent lakini ame ana nini anapata 1800 1900 hizi pesa zingine zenye zinapaki zinaenda wapi haya natumai kwamba Samuel Njoroge umeandika swali hilo ili mheshimiwa aweze kujibu habari gani Hello Bonnie Msambi Ye yeah. Ni Johnny Mkanavai zero na Johnny Mkanavai wa Kapkangani Ndio Kapkangani iko wapi kwa kangani iko hapo lakini mimi najua sasa ya Western ni kabisa. Yes. Tulikuwa nataka nataka kwa mimi watu wengi wanasikisa utichiro na watu wengi wanataka utichiro aseme atawafanyia nini? Eh. Uh-huh. Atawafanyia nini? Habari gani? Hello? Hello ndio taifa. Yes naongea na nani? Unaongea na Professor Mutingu de kutoka Yala. Yala iko wapi? E tuko mpaka na hiyo Vega County. Ndio. Kazi ambayo hiyo tichilo anafanya hapo Vega County. Eh. Ni kazi ya kuu sasa nilikuwa na swali. Yes. Ya kuja huku sehemu ya sia pia solution hiyo bwana yetu vile huwa anafanya kwa sababu hapo soko yake inang'ara kabisa nilikuwa nakuta na fraud. Asante sana. Aya. <laughs> Wazo lako la mwisho kabla tuende kwa Samuel Njorogi. Wazo langu ni kwamba ningependa governor aweze kutuelezea ni vipi ataweza kuimplement Article 10 Citizen Participation. Mm. Ameongelea kuhusu eh, Count Government Act Article Section 87 ambayo inasema kwamba kila eneo bunge kile eneo katuzi iwe na kitu naitwa kongamano ni vipi ataweza kuhusisha wakazi wote wa vihiga katika riwadha yake na utandakazi wake Asante ni Vincent Kidaha ambaye anatoka katika bunge la Mwananchi Vihiga County nami naitwa Boni Musambi narudi kwako Samuel ili uweze kumalizia kuna masuala mazito hapa ambayo yameulizwa vigilante bonoko vijana ambao wanaangaisha watu uh, kule vihiga watasaidi watakabiliwa vipi katika serikali ya utichilo kama atachaguliwa namba 2 wakulima katika kaunti ya Vihiga watasaidika vipi namba 3 kuna swala la yeye mwenyewe mheshimiwa Tichilo aseme ni nini amepanga kufanyia watu wa Vihiga kwako Samuel na mheshimiwa Asante sana Boni and all in agreement that all these issues will be summed up by what Vincent just said how you intend to go about article 10 of the constitution fostering citizen participation in your government thank you I want to thank you for that question uh, because it is so important. Article 10 is very important. And the core of devolution is about public participation. In my manifesto, which is written and is here, I have uh, uh, stated that in 90 days of my leadership, I'm going to convene all a meeting where we will have all stakeholders to sit down and discuss on modalities on how public participation should be done and from that information we are I'm going to set up a team of experts who will collect or collect information from the grassroots from the sub location so that eventually we come up with a public participation policy which will state how the people of Higa will be involved at every level of planning After we na- enact the policy we are, we will then go further and enact an act a county act which will now set the procedures on how public participation should o- o- occur Thank so that you. will be done within six months of my leadership the law and the policy will be in place the law and the policy will be in place you know what we need to give this a break a bit mheshimiwa and there are those that say Your political hygiene and sanitation is just impeccable. Too good, too clean, and maybe it earned you a lifeline in uh, the, the parliamentary seat. But will the same sanitation have you survive the gubernatorial position? 
There are those that say you don't receive handouts, you don't give handouts in local language or lo what what I say, ma utoboki. Yes. Uh, in fact, they say I'm very mean. Yeah, they say you're very mean. So, will you really survive with that? Yes, I believe I will survive because one thing I believe is in delivery of service. That is my 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 piece of cake, delivery of service, and I believe in being honest and being forthright and anybody who has interacted with, the, with me will tell you that Otichilo does not mean his words in his belief. Therefore I believe I will survive and as I talk now I have been traversing Vega County and I've stated my position very clear and when I launched this manifesto everybody, I printed more than 3,000 and people picked them and I have got an overwhelming response where people have said well, right. if you can do this, we would be happy. And we don't need handouts from you. And we're going to wind up. Yes. We've got to wind up, Mahishimi. We wish you all the best. Thank you. In your present and future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations on being the only one who had the nerve to show up. Congratulations for that. And wish that I will interview you once again, but as governor of Vihiga County. Uh, it will be my pleasure. Right. And I'm ready. If my... my, my uh, 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 my the, the other uh, colleagues who didn't show up want to show up mm -hmm. please call me i call um, you i'll be i'll be ready i'll be ready to come thank back. you so much for that thank you for watching the frontline tonight my name is samuel njoroge on behalf of the entire production crew and my colleague bonnie musambi we do wish you all a good night we cross to news where my colleagues are standing by to let us know what has been happening around the country, the region, and beyond. God bless you all. See you tomorrow for Good Morning Kenya.